then you will see the system will function in a certain way without even thinking about it. You will do the right things with your system. When you do the right things with your system, you will do the right things in the surrounding atmosphere also. But if you're only going by data at a time like this, because anyway we have limited data, this happened. At one time, Shankaran Pillai was a single parent. He had a small baby and wife. And uh, he got very worried because the child was losing weight. Then he took the inner child to the doctor and he told the doctor, Doctor, my child is losing weight drastically, by day by day, child is losing weight. I'm giving enough sunlight, air, water. The doctor asked, uh, but uh, what kind of food do you give him? Oh my God, I knew I missed something <laughs> We're missing lot of things right now because we don't have enough information <laughs> So one best thing we can do is to keep the energies effervescent. Well, for those of you who invested certain amount of time in your sadhana, this will come easy, but for those of you who have not, really want to become better when there are dire situations in front of you, for you also there is a way. I think uh, Simha Kriya is out there in the form of an app, is it? Where is it? It's on the video, Sadhguru. It's on the? On the YouTube video. It's okay, it's on the vid you, uh, it's on the YouTube, it's called Simha Kriya. I'm saying those of you who don't have any other practice to do, that is any yogic practice which concerns your energies, at least three to five times in a day you do this, you will see your life energies will be effervescent. When your intellect cannot function, because your intellect cannot function, without necessary information, and right now there is no necessary information. When there's no necessary information, intellect feels helpless. When it he feels helpless, it will trigger emotions of depression, helplessness, frantic reactions to things. If you want to stop this, the most important thing is you keep your energies in an effervescent way. One can use this may be hard to teach you just like this in a few minutes, but right now this you can do not at this time alone, at some time later, you can use this in your life. See, the sound, right now the sound, my voice is the sound, music is the sound, the birds are making sounds. When an intellectual process which cracks something very small. Let's say you understood why the mango is falling down, you know, it is a big discovery, all right? But after many hundreds of years after Isaac Newton saw it, you saw it today and even you understood why the mango is falling down. Though it's such a divine fruit, it's not going heavenward, it is falling down. <laughs> If you understood that at, that, at that time, if you have a key sound that you can use, if the sound and a certain dimension of intellectual process come together, there will be a burst of energy, always. This is why in this culture, we developed this process. If you sit down, you say Shiva, if you stand up, you say Shiva, you see something good, you say Shiva, you something bad, you say Shiva. The idea is, when a certain process happens with you, intellectually and emotionally, if you add the right sound to it, there will be a burst of energy in the system. So a series of bangs like this, uh, you become a very creative process, you know creation happened like that, big bangs. So if you keep on creating bang, bang, bang within you, your ability to create you being a creative human being, in whatever little things that you do, will become a living reality for you. So, it's best if one is initiated into a powerful sound that you simply 
utter that sound. Need not be for public, you don't have to say it loudly, this is not a campaign. <laughs> this is not some kind of a religious campaign or something that you have to say to everybody. Like uh, there are some people, if you pick up the phone, they will say, uh, what... Uh, <laughs> they will say, Hari Om, or they will say, Om Namah Shivaya, or somebody will say, Allahu Akbar, or the, uh, somebody will say, Jai Sri Ram. This is propagation, that's their choice. I am not talking about you propagating anything, I am talking about using a powerful sound to fuse with a certain intellectual process or a certain emotional process or even a physical process, something like sitting down, standing up. There is a whole change in the system. You sit down, how the system is functioning, not just physiologically and the level of chemistry and the level of energy, how it's functioning. And if you stand up, how it'll function is completely different. So when such a shift is happening, uh, you say one consecrated powerful word, within yourself, there'll be a burst of energy. This series of bursts, if you're creating throughout the day, your ability to create will become big and you don't have to stretch April for the twelve months. Hmm? This question.